G'day, g'day, and welcome back to another My Summer Car video. How are we all? Hope we're all doing great. I hope you guys enjoyed episode one because today we're going to be doing something that I've never done before in My Summer Car, and that is the hay bale job. Oh, that's not it. The hay bale job. Now, I've done a bit of research, and apparently, we need to grab all 23 hay bales and this should be a pile just up this like just this dirt road here there should be like a pile off off over here there should be uh let's see there's a pile just up over here just before uh grandma's house there is there's one that's over here i believe and there should be some down here i think it is so just next to the the highway here so apparently we're gonna grab about 23 hay bales and we'll get paid 3,500 marks now I thought it was 2,500 marks and you actually had to get like a few hay bales like I didn't think it was 23 I thought you had to get like I don't know like a trailer full worth or maybe a bit more but we need 23 all 23 hay bales and yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing in today's video, and uh, I hope it's going to be pretty fun. We're a bit, we're a bit stressed, but we're mostly tired, so we're definitely going to start it off with just a bit of a sleep. Oh, well, we got woken up. I probably should have disconnected the phone, but it's too late for that. Uh, I can't see where I'm going. Get in the kitchen, turn on the light, if we can. There we go. Yep, it's drunk guy. Sorry, drunk guy. We can't take you home. I don't have a proper vehicle to pick you up in. If we had the van, that would be nice, but we don't have that, so... Let's see. What I usually do... I flick that on. Turn that off. And we're gonna go watch some TV. Now, there's a way of building up your fatigue in this game. You can look at the TV. As you see, I forgot what this thing is called on the on the TV right now, but if you look at it, your fatigue bar will slowly uh, build up. So, yeah, we're going to sit here for a bit, let it build up. Okay, I reckon that will have to do us. What time is it actually? Uh, okay, we, we might, with the amount of fatigue we might have, we probably will probably wake up around 6 or 5 in the morning, so that will be plenty of sleep. Just want to turn that on, turn that off, and then, uh, can we? Yeah, we can sleep in the dark. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're going to go on a really, like, a long drive. Well, not really a long drive, it's more like a long job. Apparently this job literally takes hours to do. But I'm going to shorten it up as much as possible so you guys don't get bored of it. Because <laughs> I'm going to be on that grind, you know. So apparently they recommend that you take a beer case... So you can move the hay bales. Some items in the game can push certain items, like maybe the car, you know? So, since it's going to be a long, uh, a long, you know, we're going to be away from home for a bit. So we're going to need as much food as possible. Now, they do recommend we should bring coffee, but we, we don't have any coffee uh, at the moment. So, yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. But we're going to have to work with what we've got. Now, I'm going to bring about three sausages because this di this will be a long uh, trip. I'm just hoping that the sausages won't spoil during the trip. What we're going to do... Man, there is mosquitoes everywhere. It's horrible. Okay. So, we're going to have a shower. There we go. All done. So, our stress is a little high, but we should be right for like a couple more in-game hours. We're going to close this up because we just, we're not going to go in there for a while yet. Yeah, so I'm going to go up to the tractor and we're going to drive it here and then we're going to pick up our food and stuff. No van, no van just yet, which is a bit of a bummer. But hopefully... Thursday or Friday, we'll have some uh, luck with the van. There we go. There's the tractor. 
we'll just get in a comfortable position here. Okay, our controls are working. That's that's good. Because I've had to rebind them a few times now. Okay. Oh. Wait. Oh. Whoops. Wait. What's going on? That's weird. I'm stalling for some reason. There we go. I don't know what that was. That was weird. It's alright though. We're going now. We're moving. I don't know what I just did there. Okay. It's alright. Just gonna pull up here. Alright, there we go. Now, I just wanna like... Ooh, that's new. The way these used to move was like, uh, they would move, but... It's hard to explain, like, you just click a button now and you have to hold it instead of, like, you'd see it move. But now it's just like, it shifts and then it moves. That's cool. I did not know they uh, changed the tractor there. But what I was going to originally do was just lower the arm. Just about there. There we go. Just so we can see a little bit better in the tractor. Okay, here we go. Need plenty of beer. And plenty of sausages. Roll them in there. There we go. So it's pretty early in the morning, which is good. Okay. Gonna do this. And we're going. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna head up to what's it called? Uh, grandma's house and we're gonna oh I actually nearly forgot the tra the trailer I nearly forgot about that so we're gonna drive up to grandma's house and pick up as many hay bales as we can and then we're gonna drive to Perjavi to old mate's house the guy that wants the hay bales and yeah we'll find out from there yeah, I definitely need to adjust some force feedback settings here. The force feedback on this game isn't super accurate. It's not very realistic. So it's, a, it's, it's gonna take some uh, configuring to find the sweet spot really. Uh, we've got a radio here as well. Which we can sort of listen to. Oh, there's our beer that we bought. Hey, uh, we don't need that actually. We don't need it. Probably turn that, turn that off. Yeah, I forgot that I was gonna grab that beer, but we don't need it because we've already got some beer here. We'll pick that up when we get like the van or maybe on the way home, depending on if we drink this beer or not. So now, something I don't like about the tractor is the speed as many players would probably think as well because the tractors are not really designed to go very fast especially back in the day so we sort of it's going to take a while to get to our destination so I'll skip it here and there and yeah oh here comes the train oh ho ho oh there we go Wow, that was, yeah, that was close. I was like tempted to go, but I was sort of thinking twice and then there comes the train. So yeah, that's the first time we've had the train sort of stop us. That's, yeah, that's something. Okay, here's our first turn. We also got to look out for green car guy because 
he pretty much patrols the these roads, the dirt roads, like 24/7. So, yeah, because if we if we run into him with the tractor, he's dying, 100%. I've uh, I've killed him many times with the tractor before, and I've lived literally every time. So, yeah, we got to be very careful not to crash into him, because this tractor is indestructible. Okay, I see the hay bales. Look at them, just chilling. We're probably going to grab these ones over here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Grab these ones on the left first. Now, these should hopefully move the hay bales. Which they don't. Okay. That's not good. We can do it by hand. Yeah, okay, that works. Because the... The web, the wiki that I was looking at, they said that apparently a beer case can help. Which physically really doesn't at all. So we have to do it by hand. But it's okay. It should work just as efficiently. So, yeah, we want to get these lined up. Uh, okay, we can do that. They're lightweight, which is which is really good. Because if they weren't, this would be a much more bigger problem. Okay. So, this beer is pretty much useless to us. Not really useless, because it's still a food and drink. So, we're going to detach the trailer. And we're going to open this up. Now, we want to come in around... And pick that one up and then sh pretty much shovel it into the trailer. Now we've got to be pretty gentle with the hay bales because we've got to like, we've got to lower the arm and adjust the fork, stuff like that. It can be pretty advanced, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay, it's not exactly straight, but I do want to lower the arm. Pretty low. Whoops, we're rolling back. Okay. I do just want to adjust the hay bale. Okay, it's still a bit too... Okay. Okay, we can sort of just shift it. Yeah, there we go. We'll probably push it a bit closer. So when we actually lift it up, it sort of has this to support it, so it doesn't just roll off. Maybe not that close. Oh, whoop. Still one turning. Alright, that's, that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. We're going to then lower it. As much as we can. Okay, it's... Yeah, close as possible to the ground. Okay, I think that's quite literally touching the ground. Yeah, we'll just lift it up just a tad. Wait, am I doing that wrong? I think I am. Nope. Okay. Oh, I've got the parking brake on. That's that's embarrassing. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Wait, was that lowering it? Nope, that was making it go up. Okay. Oh. We got something. We got something. Alright. Let's roll a bit more forward. Oh, okay. Now, let's just lower that a bit. That's the wrong one. Okay. There we go. Let's lift this up just so it fits here. And then what we're going to do is do the fork. That should drop. There we go. Just like that. And we should be able to reverse. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Oi. Do you mind doing some work here? Right, see what I mean? He's so aggressive. So aggressive. Okay. We're going to just do this, reverse it back a bit, 
and what we're going to do is sort of just push it in just like that there we go we want to fit as many as we can okay that's good enough sweet so now we can do the next one there we go nice that one honestly that took way too way too long really now i thought i was able to fit like some sitting down here and then some standing up here but i don't think that's the case unfortunately so if we can probably get this on its side without completely okay okay here we go if you can get back on your if you can just no oh that's scary i don't want to kick this off the trailer because if i do that's all my progress just gone down the drain oh yes okay that's that's good enough that's honestly that will do me perfect just get a bit greedy just push that over there nice okay we should be able to fit hopefully one or two not too sure but yeah we've done two I am gonna skip like probably most of this so yeah I will see you then perfect okay okay so hmm yeah honestly this job is this is th this job's terrible <laughs> i'll be honest with you this is probably the worst job in the game by far like i don't mean to hate but it's like come on seriously like having to work with the physics in this game and the like having to like push it manually it just makes things so much worse but yeah i think i would honestly prefer to do the strawberry job because this is terrible this is honestly it's bad it needs to be like done somehow like how you would normally do it is you would stick the actual fork into the hay bale so it would stab into it and then you would pick it up if you could do that in this game oh this would be so much better but Sadly, no, that's not the case. I gotta get used to these controls. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna deliver it to Old Mate's house. Yeah, I really wish I could carry a lot more, but yeah, I, I just didn't do it right. That's the problem. I didn't like uh, pack it in properly, so we're only doing three. Which is not worth really even taking it up there, but it's better than nothing, am I right? But yeah, as you can see, I've only done about three hay bales, and it's taken me about, I think, like 20 minutes just to do three. And already my thirst and hunger is through the roof. So I think this is the sort of job I might want to do off camera, because as you can tell, it was pretty boring not gonna lie so so yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably do the rest of the hay bales off camera and whenever there's a the next episode if I feel like it I'll probably finish off the job with like like I don't know three or two depending on how much we've got left so it doesn't take too long in the episode but yeah we'll probably I'll do pretty much 90% of it off camera and then we'll do like a few left in another episode because honestly i thought i would get through all of it in today's episode but i'm after realizing how much of a strain it is to actually get one hay bale into the trailer yeah it's definitely going to take some time in the uh, in the wiki it's it, they made it sort of sound it was so easy but it's it's really not it's really not but it is what it is and I'm not going to bore you fellas with me just spending hours of just doing this, so, yeah. Okay, so here's the guy's house. Just going to... He usually approaches us on foot, this guy does. It's kind of weird, but, you know. We need to look for a shed. There it is. Okay. There's a water pump here, which is nice. Oh. Whoops. 
just gonna reverse. Okay. Just gonna put you here. Turn you off. I'm a bit hungry, so oh, apparently I can't eat the sausages there. You're joking. What? You're kidding. Seriously? Wow, I honestly... I, I don't even know what's going on at this point. I don't even know. I did not think s sausages spoiled that quickly. Alright, let's get these off our trailer here. Oh, what am I doing actually? We can just lift the trailer by doing that. And then we need to start it up. I need to give it a bit more throttle. And it should lift it. I'm hoping this... Yep, yeah, there we go. There we go. Come down. Come falling down. You serious? You're joking, right? You know what? I give up. I honestly give up. This... Thing is really like annoying me I usually don't get so annoyed at this game but that honestly that really just that really put me in a bad spot that job so we're gonna drive up to Timo's and we're gonna go to the shops oh probably chuck it in low gear Yeah, so I give up. We're gonna go to Timo's to grab some food since sausages are kind of unreliable to use now because they spoil so fast, which I find is pretty, pretty much BS. You know what I mean? It's like, it's sausages. You know what I mean? Like they don't, it's not like your food just spoils in like a day IRL. It's not even a day. It hasn't even been a day. It's been like a few hours in game and the food just gets spoiled. So, I think we're gonna have to now pretty much just rely on chips. Chips are a little bit more expensive than, I think they're, mo they're the most expensive food in the game. We're gonna have to rely on that for trips like this because Sausages, pizza, or macaron boxes are now pretty much home food. You honestly cannot leave the house with them. It's like a heart. It's like you gotta keep it refrigerated. You gotta like, if it spends like one one second outside the like out of the esky little box thing they use, it it's gone. It's it's done. It's toast, pretty much. It's basically that in a nutshell. This game. Good day, Timo. Alright, we're gonna buy oh our packages here, I forgot about that. So since we're since we're here, we're probably just gonna buy a macaron box just to eat now. I used to have a dog again one thing I used to have. Oh, Damn. Alright, so our order's here. We're probably going to take this home, to be honest. Yeah, I reckon we should take this home. And, yeah. Y you right there, mate? You're just hanging. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? He's hit me bloody tractor. You believe it? He's hit me bloody tractor. Oi. What are you doing? Stop. Stop right there, mate. Oh. Oh. I just damaged his car. 
Hit and run. Oh, we're going. Oi! He said, "This, this is like, this is illegal. Very illegal. What you're doing right now? Stop! In the name of the law." Alright. See you later, mate. We're going. We're taking your friend with you, too. <laughs> Look at him. He's probably freaking out. He's like, oh my god. Let me down. Your, your mate's not here to save you now, mate. You're stuck with me. <laughs> We're honestly just gonna take him. Honestly. I don't even I don't even care at this point. We're just gonna roll on through. Oh no, he fell off. Oh well. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, there's there's old mate in his uh his car. Okay. But yeah, damn, honestly, today hasn't been super productive. Honestly, I thought that job would be like just easy, you know what I mean? I thought I could do maybe half of it in today's episode but I didn't even do quarter of the job in this episode so so yeah pretty much we've got we've got our gauges here and the ratchet set which is nice and we're gonna drive home yeah we'll see what we can do from there so I'll be back very shortly and we are back just gonna park it just somewhere along here that'll do yeah honestly today uh, I'll be honest today has been super really just unproductive really it's well we did a little bit for the what's it called the hay bale but we just did not do enough to really consider it a productive day so yeah I'll just have to do that off camera once it's nearly ready, I'll record that, and then we can do the next part of the job, which will be also pretty fun. Oh, who could be this? Okay, it's a telemarketer. Damn, okay, so the van's still not here, which isn't good. In the next episode, I reckon we should start building the car, as we can't really do much. So... Yeah, we can't really do much besides except build the Satsuma. So, yeah, just open that. There we go, there's our fuel mixer gauge, our ratchet set, which will come in handy, and our extra gauges, which is nice. We'll probably just chuck it there for now. But yeah, most importantly, we've got this so we can build the car really quickly. And yeah, that's nice. It's always nice to have a fast way of doing things sometimes. Uh, we're dying of thirst, so we're gonna drink up real quick. We're gonna have a shower, because we sort of do stink and we need, to, we need to pee, so we'll just do that. Oh, come on. Grab that phone. That's actually going to be someone important, for sure. Seriously, you just called me, like, not even five minutes ago. <laughs> that is actually, like... I've never had that happen before, where that same guy has called me under, like, five minutes. What did we learn today? We learned today that sausages are unreliable for trips. And chips are the way to go. When it comes to doing, like having like spare food in the car and stuff like that and that the hay bale job sucks it, it it honestly it's yeah i've already said what i've needed to say but all i'm gonna leave it at it sucks yep all this stuff in here we'll leave it at home i reckon we're gonna go to sleep uh we might have a smoke first and something to eat. We'll probably eat this pizza here. There we go. Wash it down with a bit of water. We'll have a sm smoke. And then I reckon we're going to sleep. Today wasn't very exciting. 
unfortunately. But we will have to we'll have to do something good, really good in the next episode for sure. I do want to help out Grandma. I doubt we'll have the van tomorrow, so we'll just use the bike. And plus, really, all we're bringing is like just sugar, well, not sugar, milk. So we can carry that on the bike with ease. And we might actually get the uh, the kill you going as well. Get that brewing. We should have honestly done that today. Honestly, I I think I would prefer doing that today than doing the hay bale. So yeah, we'll finish off this episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like. If you didn't, dislike. Uh, it doesn't really matter because YouTube doesn't show dislikes. But yep. Yeah, sorry this video wasn't as, you know, good as the first one. But I'm telling you now, the second one is going to be more packed with better content wise. So thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Comment down below if you have any tips you would like to share for my summer car. If you really want to support me, share the channel, share the video, and yeah, shout out to your mates, your family. But this is Yeedy, signing off. I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace. Kesä oli kuin kuuma lehmän henkäys. Sitä pois pesemään pyörillä poljettiin.